Hey everyone, what's up? Luke here from Light Type Review, here with a review of Ubuntu 10.10, .10, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to open up Ubuntu with another virtual machine, and I'm just going to make it full screen. And while it starts up, I'll give you a teeny bit of background. It was started in 2004, and that was its first release of Ubuntu. And what Ubuntu is, is a easy-to-use Linux desktop. And just to go over some of the features it has, is it has a bunch. It has games, video, and audio editing software. Um, they have a music store that can sync with iPhones and iPods and Android. They can connect your social networking sites. And they have a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to log in real fast and I'm going to put a still image here. And we'll just wait for the desktop to load up. And there's just so many features. But I'll go over the UI first, so let's just wait for it to load. So when you get this installed, and this, just to, so everyone knows, this is a free software. So they come out with a new one every few months. And it's all free. And it's really nice. And this is the UI. It got moved around a little bit somehow. Like the trash is usually over there and stuff. But this is basically the UI. You have your users. Um, chats. You have you can set up a chat, mail, or broadcast account. And the broadcasting accounts are like Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that. So I'll just go, oh, and like here it is, Twitter, all these things, Buzz, Flickr, all those type of things. So just to go over the top bar, we have oops, <laughs> the applications, and the applications include accessories, games, graphics, internet, and office and sound and video, and these are all apps included except for Google Chrome, but other than these, these are all apps included with the software, and all of these work really well. Like, for example, Office comes with OpenOffice.org 3.2, and it works really well. It just loads right up, and it works exactly like something like WordMight or something. So you can go like, hello, you are watching what tech review. And it just works really, really well. And the reason it might be a little sluggish and it took a while to start up is because it is running in a virtual machine. But it usually starts up much, much faster on a computer it's installed on. Because I personally installed it on one of my computers that had a virus and it was being buggy and annoying. So I installed this and it works perfect. And on the bottom of the UI, you have this nice little bar, and whenever you open something, like if I open Firefox, you can see it's down here, and you also have the trash, which is usually over there, but everything is in this bottom panel. Along with the top bar, you have Places, and this is um, kind of like Windows Explorer or Apple's Finder, where you can just browse through your files and get things you need. So you can look at like the file system. You can go to, like, here's my home where I have my documents and stuff, which I have not in right now. And finally, at the top, you have System. Oops. You have System, where you can change everything, like About Me, Appearance, Bluetooth, um, mouse, monitor, and everything you could ever need to do. And it just gives you so many options. And this OS is really nice. But to go over some of the main features that really drew me to this, of course I showed you that broadcasting feature that allows you to connect to Flickr, Facebook, all those type of social networking stuff. And here's one of the biggest things. If any of you have uh, heard about the Mac App Store. This is almost exactly like it, and it's called the Ubuntu Software Center. And here is where you can get all your software. You don't even have to go onto the internet to download software. You can browse through departments like accessories, internet, systems, anywhere, and they have featured in what's new, and you can download whatever you need. So if I look through here, 
and I go like, oh, I see, let's see, what's something cool here? I see something like Calibre, so I can read ebooks and manage my ebook library. All I have to do is click install, and it'll bring up a little authorization window. It'll pop up, and I just type in my password, and it starts downloading right over here. And it just works really, really, really well. And as you can see at the top, there's sound, everything's working. And it works really well. So see, you can see right here that it's downloading Calibre. And one of the other big features that I personally like is down here in sound and video. And it's the Rhythmbox music player that also contains the Ubuntu One music store. And Ubuntu One does more than just music. You can buy music from it and it's DRM free, which is uh, means there's no protections. So you can put it on anything. And I have it installed the MP3 plugin, which I can do now. But what you can do here is buy music like you would on iTunes. And it lets you get a bunch of songs and like anything you could find on iTunes, even though it's not as extensive. But it also lets you think sync your iPods, your Android devices, and any anything you want. And it has a pretty nice layout. And it works really well. You can even get radio stations. And then they have three stores you can get stuff from. But Ubuntu One is theirs. Along with Ubuntu One offering music systems like this, it can also sync all your files, contacts, uh, Firefox, bookmarks, stuff like that to the cloud, like Chrome OS might, and it works really, really well. And it allows you to have everything in sync. So I'm just going to close this and we won't wait for it to solve the MP3 plugin. But the syncing features make it really easy to use everything. And when everything's synced and you get a new computer, you just pull it all back down. And it works really, really well. And this has overall been a really great system. And it has so many customizable features that it's something that you should all try out. And for being a free operating system, it works really well. And it just has so many feature software, and it's a really nice desktop experience. If you've been looking for some other alternative for your desktop than like Windows or Mac. And it comes with a bunch of things that you can use. And it's just simple and easy, so I hope you all try it out. I'll put the links to both of these in the bottom bar to get Ubuntu and virtual machine software. And I hope you visit our website for the full review at techreview.blogspot.com. And if you ever have any ideas or if you want to send us something in the mail for us to review, please email us at wettechreview at gmail.com. And remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you next time.